plants require 14 mineral nutrients for their growth. These nutrients present in soil are taken up by the roots and then derived to different organs in the shoots. The translocation of mineral nutrients from the roots to the shoots is mainly driving by transpiration. However, the distribution does not follow the transpiration rate, but follow the demand of each tissue. Previous physiological study have showed that the distribution of mineral nutrients is contoured in the nodes in graminaceous plants such as rice, barley, and wheat. This is a node of barley and this is a node of rice. Modern rice cultivars usually have 13 to 18 nodes, but most of them are stuck at the basal region. Only up four to five internodes are elongated at the reproductive stage. Each node has the same unit, including leaf, pillar or tiller bark, and crown roots. Therefore, graminaceous plants consist of repeated nodes, and this repeated structure are also seen in the vascular system. This shows a vertical vascular bundle in rice. Three nodes and a leaf are connected to each other. Each node has three different vascular bundles, diffuse vascular bundle, transit vascular bundle, and enlarged vascular bundle. They are connected by nodal vascular anastomosis. This is a cross section of a rice node. Four different vascular bundles are present in the same node. Enlarged vascular bundles are connected between the lower nodes or roots and the leaf while diffuse vascular bundles initiate at the node and connected to the upper organs such as the young leaf and the panicles. Therefore, a transfer of mineral nutrients from enlarged vascular bundle to diffuse vascular bundle is required to provide mineral nutrients to the developing tissue, which have high demand for mineral nutrients for their active growth. This process is called intervascular transfer. There is an efficient system for the intervascular transfer in the node. One is to increase the xylem region of enlarged vascular bundles within the node. This enlargement can reduce the speed of mass flow in the xylem, making the retention time of nutrients longer in the node. The other one is to increase the active optic surface area in the node. This is achieved by xylem transfer cells. Xylem transfer cell have a markedly extended plasma membrane surface area that faces the xylem vessels caused by fluid ingress of the cell wall. The intervascular transfer is mediated by various transporters localized at different vascular tissues in the node. Recently, a number of node localized transporters have been identified. In this opinion paper, we propose four modes of distribution for different mineral elements. The first one is xylem switch. This mode refers to transfer of an element from the xylem of enlarged vascular bundles to the xylem of diffuse vascular bundles. Second one is the flow hemotropic mode. This mode refers to preferential distribution of an element exclusively through the flow hem. The third one is the flow hem kickback mode. In contrast to the flow hemotropic mode, in this mode, mineral elements are first distributed to the expanded leaf and then redistributed to the developing tissues through flow hem transport. The last one is minimum shift mode, refers to switched distribution of mineral elements in response to environmental changes. 
in future, more transporters functioning in the north are needed to be identified in the regulation mechanisms, especially in response to environmental change, should also be investigated. As a conclusion, Node is a hub for mineral element distribution, but the study is just started.